Hey everybody, this is Dream, and we have a three-game slate here for DraftKings and FanDuel. Uh, just three little games today. Uh, so we actually have a pretty short injury report, surprisingly. Uh, for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis are both probable, so they both should play. The Cavs, Allen is questionable, Wade is out. For the Pistons, Cunningham is out. For the Nuggets, Pope and Jeff Green are questionable, while Porter Jr. is out. So only really three players that are questionable today. Hopefully that stays the same and nobody else is ruled out or questionable as the day goes on. Uh, but that's what we have right now. Um, so from the guard position, we're going to be taking a look at Tim Hardaway Jr. for Dallas. Since he's been starting, his minutes have uh, increased some. Uh, and, his, and his fantasy output has been pretty solid. You do have to remember that he is very scoring dependent. So you do have to take that into account. But he should get pl minutes and opportunities and shots. In this game, if he's hitting his threes, then he'll definitely be able to pay off here, especially at this price point. Uh, then we're going to look at Tyler Hero, who's probably my play of the day right now. Um, his price is just a little bit too cheap for what his potential is. He's been playing close to 40 minutes since he's been back now, and he's had over 40 fantasy points in four straight games. I expect that to continue here, uh, unless, of course, there's some like information that we don't have yet. Uh, then we'll look at uh, Jamal Murray for Denver. He's also been playing extremely well lately and pretty consistent. His price has come up some, but overall he's still a really solid play. Uh, this is a, kind of a tough matchup for him, but there's so many players that overpriced today that I felt like he was a good value, a good play based on his price. He's a fair-priced player. Uh, then Aaron Gordon. Now he's an interesting enigma because he can have big gas games where he scores 50 fantasy points or more. But then he also has games where you can score 10 fantasy points, and that can be really super annoying. But on a small slate like this, you probably have to take the advantage of him, his potential. And especially with this price actually coming down a little bit due to a couple off games, uh, he's going to have some upside here. So I do like him in this matchup. Uh, then we'll look at uh, Isaiah Stewart here for Detroit. Now he's in a tough matchup, but he's been pretty decent as, uh, as of late. Uh, obviously, he's been battling with injuries, but he has some upside, and that's what I'm looking for on this slate. Guys that have some upside that'll play 35 minutes, and I do think he fits into that scenario today. Uh, so uh, he's somebody to consider. Uh, Evan Mobley, also somebody that I like today, but he is kind of dependent on if Jerry Allen is is ruled out or not. If Allen is out, then I think Mobley's almost a must play on the slate, but if Allen is in, then I think Mobley's somebody you want to fade. Uh, then we'll look at Anthony Davis here for the Lakers. He should play, and he's been playing extremely good. I like his price okay here on DraftKings. A little bit higher on FanDuel, but overall, he's just been playing extremely good. He is injury-prone, unfortunately, but uh, he's been playing so great that it's hard to uh, want to risk not taking advantage of it. Uh, and then Jared Allen, if he does play, then you would definitely want to switch off of Mobley to Allen uh, assuming that he's not on a minutes cap or anything like that. He hadn't played in a couple weeks, so you do have to keep that in mind as well, but he has nice upside at this price, and he's come down in price quite a bit. So that's what I have at DraftKings. Let's take a look at FanDuel. We're going to start with Luka Doncic here. He's been playing really well. He had a really good game against Phoenix yesterday, and his price point, while it's pretty high, he still has upside where he can actually succeed that, and he's just been playing well enough that he's not probably not going to screw you. Uh, Jamal Murray is a guy I really like today. He's been playing extremely well lately, and he has pretty good upside in this matchup. And so I'm going to, uh, even though it's a kind of a tough matchup against Dallas, I do like him here. Uh, Tyler Hero is not as cheap over here on FanDuel as he is on DraftKings, but he's still viable because he's still under uh, $8,000. And so with that said, he's been playing extremely good the last few games, and I expect that to continue here. And he should be one of the better plays on the slate. Bojan Bogdanovic for Detroit looks interesting. Even though it's a tough matchup, he has upside in this matchup at this price point. Um, he's been playing pretty solid most of the season, and he's somewhere in the 28 to 36 point range on this particular slate. Uh, Jimmy Butler looks like a good play here on FanDuel, uh, where pricing's a little bit better. Uh, he's been pretty good lately. Uh, you know, obviously he took a bunch of games off because he was hurt, but... Um, now that he's back, he should be able to eclipse this in this matchup. This is a good matchup for him, and I do like the situation uh, for him, assuming he's full set to go with minutes and everything else. Aaron Gordon for Dallas, or sorry, for Denver. He looks like he's in an interesting spot. 
like I said, in DraftKings, he goes up and down when it comes to, you know, he's got 50 fancy point potential, but he can also score 10. That's the problem with him. But with some of the injuries of the Nuggets, he should have some advantages there. And I think that at worst, he just 5Xs on the slate. Evan Mobley here, uh, he's really interesting if uh, if Jared Allen is out. But if Jared Allen plays, I'm probably going to pass on him. But he's still interesting regardless. Uh, then Jared Allen, if he ends up playing and has pool complement immense, then he's somebody that I'm definitely going to take a look at on the slate. A little bit too cheap for what he potentially can do in this matchup. And then finally, Anthony Davis. Now, Anthony Davis uh, is expensive today. Uh, here on FanDuel, but he's just been playing so well, and he gets more bonuses here on draft on FanDuel with the blocks and stuff. So I think he has a lot of upside in this matchup. So with that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below, and have a nice day, guys.